What an incredible final day we witnessed at Magenta Shores Golf and Country Club for the 2024 Women's New South Wales Open. We started the day with a three-shot leader in Colombia's Mariajo Uribe. 14-year veteran had come to the New South Wales Open on an invite for Golf New South Wales. And after equaling the course record on day two, she threw down the gauntlet to the challengers. One of those, Marta Martin from Spain, was five shots back at the start of the day, but got a birdie on one to stay in the hunt. Bronte Law, leader in the LET Order of Merit. Well, she needed an early birdie to stay in touch, and she certainly got that, birdieing the first. She followed it up pretty quickly with a birdie on three to close the gap even further after starting the day. Four shots adrift of the leader, but in the final group. Marta Martin again. This shot, her second on four, set up a birdie opportunity and very nearly an eagle. Justice Bozio was the best placed Australian. She shot the course record a seven under 65 on day one. She was just off the final group, four shots back going into day two after a one under on day three, rather, after a one under day two. She set that up for birdie on the fourth. And gave herself another opportunity here, dialing one in on the seventh. Slovenia's Anna Balak, first Slovenian to get an LPGA tour card, desperately trying to get back on tour after a quadruple bogey on two, needed something on seven to reignite her round, and she certainly got that. Draining one from the deep. Bronte Law, we'll get to in just a moment. Marta Martin, this is another birdie putt for her on seven. She continued to stay in the hunt all throughout the day. But we always thought that Bronte Law, who finished tied for sixth at the 2022 Women's US Open, was going to be the best place challenger. And this shot on seven, very nearly ran in. But it did set up a birdie putt to give her a share of the lead. Justice Bozio needed a birdie from long range to keep in touch on 11. And she got that. And we thought maybe we'd get our first Aussie winner since 2010. To take the lead, Bronte Law needed something special and something special indeed with this sand save on 11. Oh, so close again, and she just about looked unstoppable at this stage. And if she looked unstoppable then, she certainly looked unstoppable now. Mariajo gave her a shot back, and she drained this to go six under on her round and take a two-shot lead. And we thought at that stage she was going to put everybody in the rear view and storm home down the straight to take this year's Women's New South Wales Open. But... The 14-year LPGA veteran had other ideas. A birdie here on 14 to retake the lead. And then a stutter on 15 meant that she needed this to retake the lead on 16. That was clutch. But so too was this from Bronte Law. This was an eagle putt on 17. We could be telling a very different story if this had gone in. But she was one shot back when she nestled this up next to the pin. And after putting that in, we were all square as they head to 18. Second shot, this was what set up the victory for the Colombian. Bounce, bounce, and it stopped cold. And on an Easter Sunday, after coming on an invite, she takes away the chocolates and the Jan Stevenson trophy. And after shedding some tears, she not only spoke to her husband and child back in Colombia, she spoke to Cass Rogan. Sam, we're here with Maniaho, the winner of the 2024 Women's New South Wales Open. What a ride it has been today. Tell me what you're feeling right now. Um, I mean, I'm just glad it's over. Um, I had fun today, though. Bronte is one of my good friends. We went to the same school, so it was fun to see her making some birdies. Um, I just wanted to play well. Like, if she was going to take the, the trophy at the end, but I play well, I was okay with that. So I'm glad that part went in on the last hole. <laughs> you said the other day it was going to be a shootout of birdies out there. How did you hold it together with that battle between you and Bronte? 
Yeah, I, I struggled today with my putting, but I knew the birdies were out there. Like the other days I was making them, so I just tried to, to stay patient. I think the birdie on nine was really big for me and just not let her go that far and, and just stay patient. Uh, I think the experience worked today that way. Uh, I knew I could finish with a couple birdies and luckily I did. You had a birdie on the first hole, you know, was that, did that have you feeling okay? You know, especially having a four shot lead coming into today? Yeah, uh, it's nice. It was nice. It was a two-pot birdie, too, because I hit it on the green. Uh, but, I mean, it was so early on. I knew someone could go and do what Bronte did. Um, so uh, I, I was pretty calm today. I, I surprised myself. Uh, it was nice to play with her, and we were just chatting away. I mean, it's always good to have that sort of relationship with your playing partner, especially in a final round like today. You have got that win. It's your first one in over a decade. Yep. <laughs> you know, what? what's the feeling about that? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, last time I won was 2011 uh, on a tour. And some girls were probably in kindergarten that were playing with me this week. So it, it's nice. It's worth to come here. I just talked to my husband. Uh, he said my son kept waking up during the night. Uh, it's like 2 a.m. over there. So it, it makes it worth. It's going to be almost a month that I'm away from them. So having a win and... With this, um, I'm pretty confident I should be in Paris, so mission accomplished. It'll be very special for you and your family. Congratulations again. I'm now going to hand over to Michael Medway, Chairman of New South Wales, South Wales I should say, <laughs> to give you your well-deserved trophy. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.